We're rolling. And three, two, one. You're watching Dave's TV. And now today, bringing you another beer review. Take it away, Dave. What's up, everyone? Dave from Dave's TV. Welcome to the channel. Not in the man cave today. We are in front of the greenhouse and mama's asleep, so she don't even know we're filming. Mm. So, uh, but you guys know these two faces. I got Shane from Shane's Craft Beer Review. Serious case. Brian from Brian the Beer Snob. And uh, we're gonna do another beer review since they're here this weekend. They surprised me. So um, this is one from New Belgium. And uh, you know me, I love the uh, Voodoo Ranger series. That's Not right. all of them, but most of them I do. And this is a brand new one to me. This is Cryo Ranger IPA. And, oh, okay, this is up there too. 7.8% ABV. Nice. And uh, I bought this eh, about a week or two ago. Found this in Publix. I think this is a very fitting beer to review with me and Shane because we actually left wearing jackets like that yep. from where we were. <laughs> we did. because We come down here yeah. to Florida to visit Dave and we're wearing t-shirts and shorts. Are our legs showing up? Is the camera showing? Because I got some oh, yeah. sexy legs. Oh, yeah. You want to zoom well, in? Mine are a little white now, but a little dark well, on you guys. But Oh, oh no, mine, no mine, mine are definitely white. I haven't seen the sunshine but, in months um, already. This, I just love the can. I love Voodoo Ranger's can art. Yes, I, like I think that's what everybody buys it for. Nice. But uh, this is very interesting. But it's a good, they're always a good beer. The Voodoo Ranger series is good. Yeah, I love them. Not much on the can as what's in it or anything like that. Not the typical, um, you know, government warning and all that. So, wait a minute. Nope, it says, what does it say? Trademark of what? Uh, trademark of... Yakima, Yakima Chief, Chief Hops. Hops. I think I, I've seen Yakima Chief Hops before, but I, I don't remember if it was in another Voodoo Ranger beer. Right. They're out of Fort Collins, else. Colorado. Don't they have another location also? New Belgium? Mm. So. Well, okay. guys, I'm tired of talking about this. Yeah, you know, let's get it this in the glass. The sun. I know. I need some cryo hops. I asked for the sun to get covered so Shane doesn't okay. get burnt. So. Well, yeah, because my, you know, my white pail... Yeah. Uh, porcelain like it skin. was kind of had to do oh. the uh, settings on the camera because they were so white you know and oh that, my that goodness. that scent has kind of got a what oh, is that it's got a spiciness to it the the scent yeah it's very pale though it is yes wow as you can see it's got a great cascade look at that i think it's probably perfect pale glasses because, you know he's dressed like it's cold outside and everybody's pale when it's cold outside because yeah. you're always covered in jackets these are ice stuff, cold so, yeah. too when i pulled them out they so. are they're i can just hold it in my hand I'm like wow this my is my hand really stuck cool. to one of them when i was trying to <laughs> but yeah, I, it's got a slight haze to it but it's yeah, not yeah. a hazy i mean it's just you know. yeah there's a slight haze to it is that just a chill haze maybe though maybe carbonation's definitely booming up there yep absolutely beautiful white head mm. let's put a nose on it I don't know what that smell is. I don't know. To me, it's giving off like a little. <clears throat> and I don't it's mean a nice hot, smell. spicy, yeah. it, but to me, it's. It, it, really it's only it's, one smell that I'm getting. It's a unique yeah, it, smell. It's it, see, I'm just getting like the, the hop smell, but I yeah. think it's, it's I think it's the cryo hops, and I I don't I don't have I haven't had a lot of beers yeah. with the cryo hops, so I yeah. think that's maybe what. And it I'm get, I'm still trying, you know. I, like blue ice, he can determine. He can smell it and tell you what hops are in it. Yeah, right away. Like yeah, he, he's, he's I so can. good. He's so good. I just tell you what it smells like, what it tastes like. Mm. Oh, well, guys, I want to find out what it. What do I like. always say? Sick of sick of smelling talking, it. Smelling. Like a Let's talking. get into this damn Absolutely. thing. Cheers. 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 Oh, you know what? This is. I wasn't expecting this to taste like this. Now you're gonna probably slap me when I tell you the first set thought that came through my mind. Please say it's not apple. No. <laughs> but you're close. You're close. This tastes like a better, more delicious version of the Laker Ice I had up there. It has a different flavor. Everything in the world is a better version of Laker Ice. <laughs> I can't comment. Sorry, Drew. I've, I've never had one. Drew said he's bringing like cases of it to the July get together. But, and I'm but like, that's just for him. I just want to try one. Yeah, I don't want to try a whole case. He's bringing cases just for himself. Have you seen the man drink Laker Ice? Yeah, after, can... after the second sip, I'm going to retract that statement. It is nothing like Laker Ice, but um, yeah, Laker Ice was different. 
It's yes. like nothing else I'd ever tasted before. This tastes different. It does have a um like a citrus note to it. Yeah, it's like a it's not it's not a grapefruit, but like more of a like a orange, maybe a tangerine. And it's there's like no bitterness. I mean, it's very no. As far as an IPA goes, it, this it, is and very, it does, but it's not like it's most a, IPAs. You know? It's a very agreeable one. Yeah. So if you like, like 30, 40 IPAs, you want a I'm starter guessing. IPA? Yes. Perfect starter IPA. This right there. would yeah. definitely be a great one. Like I said, I was expecting something a little more hoppy and getting a little bit more of the bitterness, but it doesn't have that. And it's just so smooth and easy to drink. Yeah, I think like this is a this is a crushable IPA. Like you can just sit and drink a couple of these. Most if, IPAs, if you to. Mo most it's IPAs, I'm one and done. I it is up, it up there on the, it's almost the eight percenter, but but I don't taste eight percent. Yeah, I don't really nah, taste it either. So nah. this 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 will sneak up on you if you don't oh, read sure. what's on the can and you start crushing a couple of these, you're gonna feel it. Absolutely. And I'm almost getting like a like a creaminess in the mouth feel. It's got yeah. like a creaminess to it. It does. Yeah. Which is weird for an IPA. I, I mean, personally, I like my IPAs with that little bit, that, that, that hot bite. Yeah, yeah, me too. You know, but this is still nice. That's like, what I like about nice this one, though. It's an IPA, but it's different. This one's like memorable, where a lot of them are kind of the same. This one is right. different. Hey, Blue Ice, uh, have you tried way. this? Have you tried this? You might actually like this because it's a little might, bit different. Because he's not a. I don't think he's a Blue he's, Ranger. He's fan. not a. He, he does love the Atomic Pumpkin, if I remember correctly. He yes, does give that one a pretty decent rating. Mm -hmm. um, but. I kind of miss him. He hasn't been putting a lot of content because I guess he's been busy working and oh, all that. Dude, but. that's all he does. If he's not at work, he's working. And, then, and he's in the gym. He does have a couple of videos in the gym. I just watch and live vicariously yeah. through his videos. And he's done a couple cooking little shorts recently, too. Yeah. In the yeah. past yeah. couple okay. weeks, anyway. Not not like in the past week. But that I miss his beer reviews. Do so. He's great. If Such you can get this one, Blue, I would really like your honest opinion. We like it, but... You, uh, you know me. I'm a I'm a I'm a beauty ranger guy. Cause Shane's like, oh my god, you drink every one of the. I said no. There's more out there. You can't even get any. Yeah, like I, I'm in heaven to. looking at this the thing. It's like all these different versions of Voodoo Ranger, and I've only had. Like, <laughs> I think this might be number three different version that I've had of Voodoo Ranger. So but you bought I some. Wanted, I think you bought some. I did. I have them in the fridge. Yeah, okay. so I'm gonna bring those I home. I wanted to like. I wanted my favorite Voodoo Ranger to be the 1985. Mm. Just because that's my era. That's oh, that was a good right. one. That's when I was in the prime. And now that I'm not, I wanted to revisit. I thought it was a great beer, but I think that I like this better than the night. Oh, season. really? Look now, at, I do. I know that you're not big on revisits, but every I made it a tradition for my channel for right. October first is to do a review of the the uh, pumpkin one, the atomic pumpkin. Sure. But every once in a while, I'll do a read because you know I get low on content, and I'm like, well, let's try there this is, one again. There is, but I don't hundreds, do it every day. <laughs> hundreds of thousands of different beers out there. Hundreds of thousands of different beers out there. So that's that's why I don't like doing the. Re I, I mean, I have done maybe two or three revisits. Yeah, on just my to kind of, or maybe if they change, like New Belgium changed flat, their fat tire. Fat tire. So yeah, I did review that one again. I still have not. No, you know what? I think and, I did. I tried it on an airplane. And, I didn't uh, have my camera with me. I didn't. Review Samuel it. Adams changed their Boston Lager. Or, uh, I heard about it. Yes, I, I, I haven't tried it yet. No, like I haven't tried the new one. Changing either. the recipe. That's you can't. Stupid. Don't do that, man. Don't leave it what it is. You if saw you what wanna... happened to Coke. They had to go back to the old mm. recipe. That's right. Well, Everybody guys, got all up in arms for sure. So, what's your take on this one? I'll let you go. I first, really do right? like this. You know me. I'm a simple man. If you just like regular beer flavored beer, but you want to try an IPA and you don't want a scary one, this is not scary. This is not this a scary is, IPA. This is quite. This is your starter IPA. Quite nice starter IPA, and. You drink a few of these, I think the hops will uh, start to grow on you, and yeah. you don't want, you mm, want sure. more. Yeah, like Brian said, if you're gonna just get into IPAs, this is a good start because it's not too bitter. It's nice and smooth. I, like I said, I get that little bit of that creaminess, and I, I could, I really like this. Like, I, if I was gonna rate this on my channel, I would probably give this a solid four. Oh. And I could, I could sit and drink this all day because I can drink it all day, and that's why I give it the four. I can drink it, like I can drink like five of these because it's not overly bitter. It's nice and smooth. I mean, I'm going to be drunk after five at, what is it, 8%? Oh, dude, I'm going to be drunk, I'll, drunk I'll after be two. I'll yeah. be drunk. Yeah. After two, I'll yeah. be good. Well, when I say drunk, I mean I'm passed out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's what I, when I say drunk, that's what I mean. I mean passed out, drunk. But um, my take on this, I'll definitely buy this again and drink it again. Two thumbs up. Absolutely. And two thumbs up I do sure. 10. I'll probably give this one an eight. Yeah. Out of 10. That's what I'm thinking. Of I concur. Well, guys. Oh, really? I can for sure. I really appreciate y'all hanging out with me this weekend. Hey, we're excited to be here. We're, you know, we're, you know, when you're having fun, it goes quick. It does. So it goes too quick, sadly enough. When Shane busted in my 
I almost passed out, man, because here I am. <laughs> I'm crying because I didn't get the package that he sent me. And he bust in with the package in his hand. So Ooh, then, here holy I am. cow, we call Brian, and Brian's like here in minutes. So, when you call me about beer, I'll be there. <laughs> well, guys, <laughs> before we get out of here, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Leave and a comment. Leave a comment for sure. And uh, subscribe. <laughs> can't even talk. <laughs> subscribe to these guys' channel. I'm you, so you happy can, that you can subscribe here. with us too. Right? Yeah. If you want to subscribe to us, I that's will okay. put their information <laughs> down in the description below. Like always, Brian's always there. I don't even know if he knows that, but because of my intro, him and Matt from my legit beer review. So check them guys out and please drink responsibly. Do not drink and drive. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. everyone. Mm. That's good. That oh, is very yeah. nice. That's good. See you I, I literally. Oh, wait a minute. He's oh. jumping again. Oh, what happened? Oh. No, I was going to say that this is the second time this has happened. The first time I just thought a cold wind blew up my leg. Right? <laughs> but when I finished this last drink, it literally gave me goosebumps all up and down my arms and legs. This freaking tastes so good. And it's it, good. And out here in this hot Florida sun. And Dang, we're still rolling. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Brian got ahead of me. That was funny. I know because you're, you're I, can, I, can that in there. I can see you doing the thing. I'm like, okay, he's going to end it up. So I'm just standing here. And then...